All right, so Takashi Six Nine is on a five-year federal probation, and it seems like one of the stipulations is that he cannot start beefs on the internet, but he can clown. <laughs> I picture Takashi is somewhere, right? Like I can't start beefs, but I can joke on fools right while he's rubbing his hands. Birdman style. Me and the notification gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9 20 to 10 o'clock for morning coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? Alright, so, yeah. So, apparently, Takashi69 cannot start a beef on social media okay so let's break something down real quick uh, one of the uh, uh, stipulations upon his release i don't know if it's a stipulation upon his release or if it's just a mandate because hold on one second because if it's just a stipulation upon his release then that means that after his his uh time served in home confinement that means that he can actually go back to beefing again although it probably wouldn't be in the best interest because of the feds but I would assume that if they're saying that he can't beef because they're letting him out early on home confinement and that's one of the stipulations, then yeah, he can't beef. He can't start a beef. But I'm going to tell y'all a real quick history lesson for everybody that don't know this. Takashi 69 started trolling people after they started talking trash to him first. Okay, so just so we can be clear on this, and once again, this is not me trying to defend snitching. Snitching is not being defended here. So I'm saying it's early in the video, so you don't gotta waste your freaking cat, your, your your damn time making a comment. I'm not defending snitching. He did what he did. It is what it is. What I'm saying is this: when Takashi Six Nine first came out, they was getting on him for the colorful hair. There was people saying, "Yo, he can't be from Brooklyn, yo." You feel me? So people started actually bashing, talking about Takashi. Saying he was part of the LGBTQ community Which I'm assuming I don't know if he cared about that or not He doesn't really It, it, it seems like shit roll right off his back To be honest with you And um, in this new social media world That's the way you need to be Anyway so um, TMZ actually uh, wrote up an article on this uh, Shout out to TMZ The, the title of the article is Takashi 69 won't start rap beefs But I'll be all over social media and, and not for nothing I think he'll be just fine Because he's genuinely funny and I'm going to tell you something else real quick, y'all. There's going to be people that's going to want to get into humorous back and forths with him. Because when you, you know, get and do anything with Takashi, it brings eyes to you. So I'm, this is just my opinion. There will be people that's going to want to go back and forth with Takashi, you know, in, get, in good fun. So I don't think he necessarily has to beef. Anyway, the article goes, uh, Takashi 69 is vowing to be the best social media behavior now that he's out of prison. His lawyers say the rapper won't start beefs or troll other artists because the feds are watching. Takashi's lawyer, Lance Lazario. Shout out to Lance Lazario for the while. I mean, pardon me. By the way, and also shout out to Dawn Florio. Shout out to both of them. They are excellent lawyers. And obviously, <laughs> there's a lot of people that wish that they had these two lawyers rather than the ones that they had. Um, No, that's not a shot at anybody. I'm just stating the fact. Anyway, Takashi has no restrictions regarding his new his use of social media, despite being on federal supervised probation for the next five years. So I'm guessing the whole time he's on federal um, probation, he's not going to be able to actually create a beef online. But I don't think the in, I don't think the government is going to be able to say, "Yo, if people start talking trash to you, you gotta let them." I don't I don't think that's the thing that's going to happen. So as you can see, there's already so many people that they can't prevent themselves from talking trash about takashi 69 it's going to be interesting to see how he handles it at the least um also i wanted to just add this uh or on top of this by the way he recently went into a shade room comment i believe um shade room posts 
and it was a governor i think california and the governor's like yo man we need them snitches to tell us when them stores that ain't supposed to be open is open i don't know why he sounds kind of like bill cosby but that's the way he sounds in my head anyway um and takashi posted something like he's on it or something like that a funny dude so um the point being there's gonna be a lot of room on social media for takashi 69 to make his jokes and for Takashi 69 to show his personality and for his fans to be able to enjoy what he's doing with them. So um with that being said, let me know what y'all guys think. Um, do y'all think that he should, you know, keep with the jokes? Obviously not the beefing. Can't do that. But do you think he should keep with the jokes? Or do you think that he should um curtail his personality and do other things? I think he should keep I think he should just do whatever it is that he's doing. Because once again, when he first started talking, when he first got on social media, he wasn't talking smack to people. They was talking to him. He was just making jokes. And then after a while, you know, the people he was with was like, nah, we're not doing this. Them the other dudes are suckers. <laughs> I'm not calling the other dudes suckers. I'm just assuming for everybody that don't know, he was involved in the tradeway. I know everybody knows that. But for everybody, everybody that don't know, he was involved in the tradeway case, the non-trade case. And I, I'm just, I'm not, I'm just being fair. Those guys was running around pulling guns all over the city. Those guys was pulling up in other people's city. Like what? They were doing their job. And also, can we give a shout out to the Shadow Group? The Shadow Group is a um, paid security that Takashi was using. And those guys are also excellent. So all the security that Takashi had. He had the street security that was ready to kill a nigga. Pardon my language. And he had the, um, the corporate security that was, you know, if, that, that would probably try to not kill the person. But if they had to, you know, if he dies, he dies. So let me know what y'all guys think. Put it down in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama, it may be bigger than you and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it?